Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of Dragon's Dogma 2. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to hopefully evacuate Batal. And yeah. I don't think we have anywhere else to evacuate. I think it's just Batal here. Or Bach Batal. My bad. And yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, what a pleasant breeze. Rest all of my equipment. Well, the chance. I'm surrounded by winches on all sides. Still a while to go before my shift's over. Surely I'm overdue a day off. I think the temple's right here. More must be urged to evacuate. We ought to choose our next destination based on the movements of the clouds. The movements of the clouds? What does that even mean, lady? <laughs> See if we can't find somebody to talk to here in the temple. Where is the priestess lady? She would be somebody that we would want to talk to, right? Her Majesty has begun her supplications. None may see her ere they conclude. Stay your hand, Vera. This one may pass. Come hither. We would speak with you. So you are returned, Sir Arisen. We are gladdened to find you safe and well in the midst of this calamity. Why is she talking in the third person? It's really weird, lady. Now, to what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? You would have the people of this nation abandon their homeland to seek sanctuary elsewhere. Tis no small thing you ask of us. We will require some time to consider. For now, Rithi, speak with Sir Manella. You will doubtless find her patrolling the city. Her assistance will be indispensable if we are to undertake the evacuation of Bakbatal and the checkpoint rest town. So we gotta evacuate the checkpoint rest town as well. Let's go find Salmonella. I know that's not her name, but that's what it sounds like. Suppose I'm tired. I've barely slept a wink. Where the hell is she? What is that marker? Is it like down below? Let's go down below real quick and just check out that marker because it's not over the priestess. Oh, don't. Oh, my goodness. I wish your characters would not just, like, try to jump to their doom. At last, the puzzle begins to take shape. Oh, what does this say? Shall we take a closer look? No, we shall not. I think this was a waste of time, everybody. I can only imagine what's brought you back here. 
I require your aid. Will you oblige me? I guess I am grateful. Oh, he wants to go over there? Shit. We can just fast travel over there. We'll go outside the temple here, and then we'll fast travel over to where Faces wants to go. We'll have Faces. We're being slow, homie. My pawns are lagging behind here. Some of us get complacent, but I train every day. What is he doing? Just like running in circles or something. Let's use this. Can we not fast travel? Were we not outside enough? Oh, come on. Are you serious with faces? Dude, what are you doing? We're not playing hide and seek, homie. Your ass over here. I've got to focus. My shift only just begun. Oops. Sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. This guy has been an asshole the whole game. There we go. We've made it then. What's our first order of business arisen? Oh, people are setting up shop over here. Nice. Oh, hold on. We got to go over here. My thanks. Take this as a token of my gratitude. A bunch of flowers? No thanks, homie. Let's deposit some stuff in here. Stuff we are not using. We'll keep the all heal. Okay, so Batal is kind of far away, so we're just going to fast travel back to Batal. And it's not like extremely far, but far enough that I am not willing to walk all the way over there. There's something strange about the way time passes here. It would seem this is no longer the world we know. Where do we want to go? Let's go over... Didn't we meet her 
think somewhere over here. Is there no way to return things to how they were before? Well met, sir. Fancy again, though? Fine, well. Tis so dull when there's nothing doing. Only here may I plumb the depths of my God, this is gonna suck trying to find this lady. Well met. If it takes me too long, I'll do a cut until I find her. This looks as if it will take us someplace further afield. How we use it is at our discretion. I dare say there'd be no harm in using this. Well met, sir. How's the day treating you then? Well, she's definitely not over here. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut until I find Salmonella. I know that's not her name, but it's what it sounds like. I can't remember what her name is. So until I find Salmonella, I'll see everybody in just a moment. I'll not take that from you. Pray calm yourselves, good people. I will have none of this squabbling. So, Manella, you don't understand. This scoundrel's the one who started it. No, you don't understand. This is no time for the people of Batal to be quarreling amongst themselves. We shan't weather this calamity unless we can recall our common purpose and unite our efforts towards it. Well met, sir. That's funny. Uh... They're not calling her Salmonella, but it's Sir, like Sir, and then Manella. So her name is Manella. So it's Sir, Sir Manella. It sounds like Salmonella, though. Oh, I won't well, give you a chance. Let's talk to this dude. So keen to talk with me. You are a strange one. Mind if I ask a favor of you, cuz? No. Another time, perhaps. Yeah, no, I'm good. Not doing another escort quest. Ah, Sir Arisen. You are returned, I see. With the world in such disarray, I could not stand to be away from my homeland. Thus did I return, to render what aid I may. I maintain order as best I can, but for every fire I extinguish, it seems three more are incited behind my back. But enough of my woes. What brings you here? You wish us to evacuate? Mayhap the idea merits some thought. After all, if we sit on our haunches, it is likely only a matter of time before we share the fate of Mel. Alas. The people of Batal are far from united in purpose at present. Should we proceed, unheeding of their divisions, I fear that our efforts would come undone ere long. With every soul at their wit's end, conflict is like to spark at the slightest provocation. As such, before we take any measures, I would have you walk amongst the people, Sir Arisen. Behold their plight with your own eyes. And should you encounter any discord, Pray do aught you can to resolve the people's quarrels and assuage their fears. Such efforts will doubtless allow the evacuation to proceed all the more smoothly. As for me, my work here is far from done. Let us part ways for now, and reconvene when you have accomplished all you can. Tis no mere tavern brawl we are to mediate, Master. Due this. caution is advised, methinks. Right you are. Ah! Oh, you're just riding on your father's coattails! You slander my honor, sir! I demand a duel. 
This is no business of yours. Be gone! Now, now, Nara, let's not be too hasty. If we are to duel, we ought to have a witness. Otherwise, who's to say the victor fought with honor? Aye, true enough. Without a witness, either of us could simply kill the other, then disavow the use of any underhandedness. Well, sir, what say you? Will you watch over us while I take this scoundrel to task? I will, but first, why are you two wanting to duel? This knave dared to slight my honor. He said my swordsmanship was hardly fit to wound a training dummy. The bloody nerve of him. <laughs> and I'd say it again. It was your dear father's patronage that made you a sentinel, not your own skill. Sure, go ahead and have your duel, but no funny business. No backhanded, trying to stab somebody in the back or anything like that. A fair duel, understood? You have my gratitude, sir. Let us delay no further. Come, Scario. Prepare yourself. How about you? Stay back! Lest you get caught in the fray. Go. Show what for! Have you lost your wits? Keep your distance! Keep back! I do not wish to injure you. You're ten times stronger than I'll ever be. Heavens have mercy. You can do this. I, I admit it. I underestimated your skill. The loss is mine. Nay, it was I who underestimated you. I'd thought to score an easy victory, but you fought fair and capably. We owe you a debt, sir. It is on your account that we've seen some sense. Were it not for your timely appearance, I'd wager this nonsense might have cost one of us their life. Indeed. Better to hone our respective skills than take up arms against petty slights, I say. It seems some things can only be resolved by crossing blades. But I doubt they'll quarrel again after this. I doubt it too. Not hoped for a gladder outcome. Let's take off that marker real quick. I forgot to take it off earlier. No. Boy, get back in. Boy, I saw it first. <laughs> Trust a flea-ridden hide to take it all for himself. Oh, why must I share with a fangless one? This is no more your food than Batal is your land. No, you know what? Let's go grab some food. I have a feeling that we're going to need that. The forbidden magic research lab appears to have been constructed rather recently. Indeed. And the researchers employed there are as tight-lipped as they come. It is all very secretive. I've had well enough of your nitpicking. I reckon the world would be better off without you. I wears a plenty, as you can see. You'll pay for that. Oi, you! Don't go poking your nose in our business. This is between us. Aye, leave off or we'll make you. Seems like. Oh my god, what the hell? Heavens have mercy! Die, then. Oh, <laughs> have you lost your bloody mind? Reckon you could just cut us down in the street? What's the matter with you? Eh? Fine, fine. We'll set our squabble aside for today. So bother us no more. Jesus. They were gonna kill me by just punching me to death. <laughs> Uh, 
And my pawns were just sitting there watching. Where are my pawns? Jesus, they're far. Ragnall. Newt Licker! Ah, oh, Of course. And I don't need it. Let's grab out some dried meat. Since we don't have any regular meat. Can you heal me, Lucy? Uh, won't let me ask for heals in my Whatever house. Whatever you need, I shall gladly oblige. Stay with me, Arisen. Wait a moment. Okay, let's run over here to this other area because it seems like we're gonna need food. Looking for ores in particular. You there! You couldn't have come at a better time. Put this upstart in his place for me, won't you? Go on, lay into him. I don't think either of you are in the wrong. I think both of you are hungry and you have right and you have a reason to uh you know want the food. If that's what you think, why don't you mind your own business? I right, clear off. Pretty words shan't fill our bellies. That's quite enough. Stop this, father. Thank you, sir. I'll be sure to share it. You mean with me? For true? Thanks. I'm half starved. Oi, leave my kid alone. You're not some child snatcher, are you? Wait. You shared your food with them. I thank you, sir. As for you, Nomos, it would seem we were both but looking out for our children, eh? Hey. Aye. Mayhap we're not so different after all. And we're both our children fed. We've no reason to quarrel. The desire to protect one's kin transcends race and culture. It just goes to show, we are none of us so different. That was certainly worthwhile. I knew we were going to have to use food in some way. Ah, Sir Arisen. In less pressing circumstances, I would take issue with your methods. But I cannot deny your efficacy. The people of Batal are beginning to see that they must stand together. The people of Batal are beginning to see that they must stand together if they are to survive this calamity. We shall see the fruits of your labors when the time comes to evacuate. At the very least, we need not expect too much opposition to the announcement. Pray return to Empress Nadinia and apprise her of your doings. I must remain here to ensure no further squabbles arise. Heavens only know how many lives you have saved this day. I hope you'll accept this humble reward for your efforts. What say we report back to Empress Nadinia? Her Majesty ought to be willing to commence the evacuation now. What is this from? Something must have fell over here. Oh, you know what? I remember now. That was when everything went down. And the first I do not understand. beam of red light. What has befallen our world? In truth, I cannot help but fear what lies ahead. I think this if is I the last place we need to evacuate. Which is good. Oh, by the way, I did get a new pawn when I was off um, trying to figure out where Salmonella went or was. Also, by the way, I was watching the video the other day and realized that I was complaining about the last pawn only using Maelstrom 
I'm dumb. I actually picked a pawn that only knew Maelstrom. So that's that's on me. One of our ministers informs us that you have been espied in the city, resolving the people's troubles. You have our gratitude for your efforts, which have doubtless bettered the fate of this nation and its citizenry. Your journey continues, does it not? We would pray excuse the interruption, your majesty, but I fear time is upon us. I would see you prepared for the road ahead. Indeed. Forgive us, but we must take our leave. Farewell. Akvatal and the rest town are now safely evacuated. I am certain we can rely upon Simonella to keep the peace. Outstanding. Now what do we do? Find our way out of here. That's what we do. I'm proud to carry out. My duty ought to be protected. The discord twixt the pawns and it may bring you some peace of mind to know that this place shall be defended to the last. Okay, but the priestess disappeared. Okay, we'll come back here. We're going to go to... God, this place is so confusing. We're going to go to Vernworth first. And then we'll go over to the Elven place. I forget what that's called. I can never remember that place. Sacred Grove or some shit. And then we'll come back to Batal. Let's fast travel over to Vernworth. Here we are, in the blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our surroundings? Wrong way. Do you know how long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. How fair you, friend. I've a favor to ask. Might I depend upon you? No, what is with everybody wanting to do an escort quest? No matter. What the but I, of all people, cannot afford to give up hope. I'm... Okay, I am so confused with this shit. Speak with the leaders of the lands you have visited and guide them to the seafloor shrine. I don't even see any guards around anymore. It's like everybody's gone. 
Oh, you know what? Maybe we can get into the vault now. If everybody's gone, you know. Yeah, I don't see not one guard in here. Super lost. There we go. Let's find this vault real quick. Yeah, there's nobody in here. Sweet treasure chest everywhere. Daughter of the evening. Don't know what that is. Worm hunter's cloak. Decayed Medusa head. Oh, I bet that's a way to, um, oh, that's a lot of money. I bet that's a way to petrify the griffin. Ring of reassurance. Worm hunter's cloak really isn't that good. Eh. I mean, the vault, I guess, is good if you come here earlier. Oh, the Medusa head. That's right. Oh, damn. I wonder if there's a way to rejuvenate that. Maybe at the spring, that healing spring or whatever. Kind of like in Dragon's Dogma 1, you could use the healing spring to... Oh, yeah, I forgot. My pawns aren't around. I just tried to call them over to me. Where is everybody? Did everybody already evacuate? If so, why are the pawns waiting out there? There's no reason for them to wait. And I thought there were people out here when we fast traveled in. Yeah, see, there's people down here. There's one person. One person. No, two people here. Will this take long? I ought to be doing. If you want my advice, he'd... Are they at the front gates? So the whole castle evacuated, but not the village. I'm super confused.
What the hell, man? Okay, well, let's go over to uh, the Sacred Grove or whatever it is. The Arbor. The Sacred Arbor. That's what it's called. Nobody's here either. What the fuck are we doing? Do we need to go to the sea floor? place bereft of beasts and brigands both i'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day okay well let's go to the sea floor i guess Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refer Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drake. Oh, wow. This is freaking cool. Okay, I'm definitely going to get this stuff. Is there any... Let's go right here. That looks freaking cool. As well. Then I bid ye farewell. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. There is a matter I would entrust to you alone. Uh, I guess you have my gratitude. Go to, uh, I was going to say, is that M Melv? No, it's Harv. I really don't like escort quests. They annoy me. And that goes for any game at all I just I don't know AI is always so janky whenever you're doing escort quests since times of eld remember draconic blood flows through the let's see I want to yeah Get a new weapon. Veins of lesser drakes. Then I bid ye farewell. Can I upgrade it? Come take a look. You'll be glad. Ah. 
bolt scale. Okay. You did. Hope to see you again. Let's fast travel again to Har Village. How might I be of service? Let's go, bud. This is the last escort quest I'm doing. Over to the docks. Oh, good God, there's a dragon over there. Don't look, don't look, it'll go away. My thanks. A gift. Take it with my. Uh, see, like. Escort quests suck. <laughs> they just suck, man. I thought that was going to be part of the main quest, and it is not. So we just wasted some time with this nonsense. What? I don't... I don't get it. Let's try resting over here, and then I'm going to buy some rift stones. Not rift stones, port crystals. Not port crystals. Oh Since times of eld, remember. Fairy stones. Draconic blood flute. I'm going to buy some fairy stones. Eventually, I'll get it correct. It's through the veins of lesser drink. Aches as well. Then I bid ye farewell. Okay, let's rest really fast. A good sleep will ensure we are. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. See, I don't, I don't get it. It says speak with the leaders, but we've already spoke with the leaders. All right, one last time, I'm gonna do a cut, and when we come back, hopefully, I will figure have figured out what's going on with this whole situation. See everybody in just a moment. The Batali Knights use this place to train. You're not one of us, so I cannot imagine you've any business being here. Pray, leave us in peace. Oh? You believe we ought to evacuate? Well, you've traveled far indeed to deliver these tidings. Farther, I dare say, than anyone would go for the sake of an idle jest. Hmm. If we must leave, we shall have to begin preparations at once. But I think we're a bit short on hands to attend to all that must be done. In fact, there's a rather delicate matter that I could use some help with. A blacksmith and his wife dwell on the encampment outskirts. Might you escort them here so that they can join the evacuation? The smith, Gustava, is a man of good sense. But as for his wife, well, suffice to say, Cleuna has always been a contentious sort. She'd have naught to do with us, given the choice, and isn't likely to take kindly to the arrival of any of my knights on her doorstep. I can only hope that she will be more willing to listen to you, a third party, as to her. 
And while you're taking care of that, I will see to it that the incumbent is made ready to depart with all due haste. Ah, uh, I remember the blacksmith and his lady wife well. I only hope we can convince them to join the evacuation. You have my... Okay, where are we going? Holy shit. We got a far run. I support. Okay, we're going the right way. I am not fighting anything. I am running straight over here. Honestly, I just started fast traveling to places. I traveled to uh, Melv, to Harve. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. How about we just not fight? How about that? Oh, son of a bitch. We should probably fight this. Man, fights are so trivial with this shield. That guy snuck up on us. I have no clue where it died at. There it is. Oh, we can come down here. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm. Hold on. Damn it. We should not have went down. As they say. Whatever, we'll go this way. No! Don't you fall down, you some bitch. You some bitch. Come on. Just up there. No bearing on our but might I say? Pawns in this party are women all. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Come on, guys. Of course, I'm like climbing shit. You're soaked. Do you try not to catch cold? Oh, there's a campsite. I didn't realize that there were still campsites. I thought they all got destroyed because of the world being all crazy and shit. Leave us alone. I don't want to have to kill you, but I will if I have to. Don't make me do it. Hopefully they're not still chasing me. And they are. You know what? That's it. Had enough. Feast your eyes on me. Well, 
strike right where it hurts. Holy blindness, Batman. My knowledge from other worlds tells me that a forgotten riftstone lies near here. Shall I lead the way? No, I don't care about the riftstone. Through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Well now, whatever brings you here? These are perilous times to be wandering about. You'd have us evacuate with the encampment? I am touched by your kindness, friend, but we'll manage on our own. I couldn't bear to be pressed in among those crowds. Now, now, I'll hear none of that. I'll see you to safety, my dear, come hell or high water. Besides, I should hope this good soul has earned your trust by now. Help me out of a tight spot on more than one occasion, if you'll recall. After all that goodwill and the long trek out here to warn us, we'd seem mighty ungrateful, turning our back on another helping hand extended only in kindness. Oh, very well, my love, if you insist. It seems we'll be accepting your offer after all, friend. Would you be so kind as to escort us to our destination? Let us see our charges to the encampment. Yeah, we're going to use a fairy stone. But be mindful. The path seems much changed since last we walked it. Well, here we are. How long before the evacuation begins, I wonder? Would you find Serenesto and tell him we've arrived? Let him know that we'll wait here till the time comes. Okay, I'm going to check one more spot. Sir, I implore you to reconsider. Surely you can see that the situation is dire. How many times must I say it? I'll not be ordered about. Not by ye, not by anyone. Now bugger off and leave me alone. Ah, good. You're back. I'm afraid there's another matter for which I must beg your assistance. It concerns the fellow I was just speaking with, Sir Lamond, his name is. The man's something of a regular at our hot springs. I sought him out to tell him of the evacuation, but he has flatly refused to join us. I must confess, I'm at a loss as to how I might convince him. Could I prevail upon you to try your hand? At this point, methinks anything I say will fall on deaf ears. Perhaps we might speak with this Sir Lamont. The evacuation effort stands to benefit from another pair of hands. By your leave. Think I'm going the wrong way. Well, maybe. Stomach complaining. I'll have an early supper. Let me talk to you, fool. I? What would you of me? <laughs> not this again. I'm here to live my life as I see fit. I'll not be ordered about by anyone, cuz. You got that? Mm. Have them escort Batali Knights? We'll say the smith and the wife. Aye. I know those two. Good people. 
But I don't see why I should have to be the one responsible for them. Why don't ye do it? If they mean so much to ye. Oi, I heard out ye request. Kindly bugger off and li- So Lamont has refused to lend his aid, and it seems there's little hope of changing his mind. Let us inform Sir Ernesto. Yeah, fuck that guy. A disappointment, to be sure. So, Sir Lamond is not to be convinced. It would have eased my mind to have him join us, but I suppose there's naught to be done. The hour of our departure is almost upon us. It will be slow going, no doubt. We have wounded whom we must accommodate. Yet, come what may, I swear to see them all to safe harbor. People of Volcanic Island are evacuated. May they make it through the impending chaos intact. I quite agree. Okay, so we don't have very much time left in the video. And I want to try to see if one more place right over here is the last place to evacuate. Because I went everywhere else. I went to Harv, I went to Melv, none of those places needed to be evacuated. Melv definitely didn't need to be evacuated, I'll leave it at that. Those accursed clouds are most insidious. There must be a way to force them to recede, there must. Okay, let's make it all the way over here and then we'll cut the video. And hopefully this is the last place to have to evacuate. I thought we were done, but apparently not. Man, this place looks super crazy, and whoa, look at that. That looks really cool. Oh, awesome. How the hell are we supposed to get over there? Guess we need to drop down. Ouch. <laughs> Help me out, Lucy. How might I be obeyed? Oh, they're, like, jumping off to their doom here. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. Quite literally. A moment. I thought I had met my end. My thanks to you, Arisen. Well, I mean, you jumped off a cliff, like, at its highest peak. Yeah. Don't think that was very smart. We're gonna go up this way. Where the sludge is. Ice attacks will soon see the Spofeld. Yeah, I'm not really worried about it. Goblins. Looks like we're pretty close. We are. Nicely done. 
We'll kill these guys and then after we kill them. We will end the video. All right, everybody, this is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. This Mr. John Wayne, signing off. Wrought by the hands of brigands. Or the claws of monsters. One cannot be too careful. <laughs>